The surge in COVID cases of some school administrators rethinking how they protect students and staff. Just this week, two area schools reimpose mask mandates. But as Local 12's James Pilcher reports as part of our new series, Crisis in the Classroom, leaders in other districts aren't making that move and it's upsetting some parents. Middletown City Schools became the latest area district to require masks this week. The new rules go into effect when kids return Thursday from the holiday break for the district of nearly 6,400 students. In a statement, Middletown School Superintendent Marlon Stiles Jr. said, temporarily masking up during this surge is just one way we can help our students and staff. Last week, Ohio Governor Mike DeWine pleaded with districts to mask up given the rising numbers. Our children's hospitals are begging you, knowing what Omicron has done in other countries, they're saying, please, have children wear masks. Local 12 News requested COVID policies from the Tri-State's largest 25 districts. 18 of those responded to open records requests thus far. Six say they mandate full masking for all students and staff, including the area's largest district, Cincinnati Public, and Northern Kentucky's largest, Boone County. Two other districts require masks for younger children and make it voluntary for middle school students and older. Most strongly recommend masks except on buses where masks are required for all students under federal rules. One of those is Mason City Schools. The district began this year requiring masks for elementary students but removed those rules in October. Spokeswoman Tracy Carson says most students already wear masks voluntarily. I've been in um three of our five buildings since we came back to school. And I would say it actually looks remarkably similar to what it was last semester. Mason parent Kara Ayers says that's not enough to protect kids and staff, especially kids in preschool. Most of the students in those programs have disabilities. And those students, not only are they not vaccinated because they're not old enough to be vaccinated, but if they have disabilities, they're at much higher risk of if they acquire COVID having negative outcomes. James Pilcher, Local 12 News.